Hey everybody, today we're going to be working on what I believe to be the coolest tutorial I've done yet. And we're going to be taking parts out of this old VCR and take this 99 cent pinwheel here and we're going to make a light up LED pinwheel. And what we want to do is we want to find a motor inside the VCR that we can use to spin and light up this LED. So you can see that it's lighting up just like that. Pretty cool. So let's check out what kind of tools we're going to need to do this job. So I've just unscrewed the housing of this. And we're going to open it up and take a look and see what kind of treasure we can find inside. I've got everything taken apart and now what we need to do is we need to pick good gears for our gear train that's going to connect the pinwheel to our motor that we've selected. So I've got quite a selection here that I've taken out of the VCR and I put each one's diameter beside it so that way we can tell what kind of gear ratio we're going to get between the two gears. Two that I'm actually going to use are these two right here and here's what it looks like put together for a reference. So something I always end up doing is I end up being overzealous with how much I drill the hole to be able to fit this on the pinwheel, our main gear. And it causes a lot of slop which will cause problems with our gears meshing with the motor. Um, so what I've done is I've taken another piece from the VCR that fits better over here. I've actually placed that inside of my main gear which makes it spin great. And I'm going to add some epoxy around here to make sure it hardens perfectly. Now what we're going to do is I've got some little strands of copper wire here and I've got the shaft of the pinwheel and what we need to do is we need to melt these wires. We want to twist them together and then melt them for a positive and negative wire for our LED into the shaft of this so the pinwheel can spin without being obstructed by the wires. And you'll want to test this first with your motor to make sure that it'll still generate light through this wire. So now I've got the wires all soldered into my shaft and so now what we need to do is we need to attach the main gear to the fan and luckily the hole for the fan is just a little bit smaller than the hole that's inside the gear here so you can actually just force the fan right on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some epoxy around here as well and I'm going to cut some slits in the back so that I can put even more epoxy on here to make sure that when this thing is spinning in the wind it's not going to fly off. So the next thing to do now that we've got everything on here, the gears mounted, um, the wires in, is we need to figure out how we're going to mount this motor on here so that we can make the light light up. So I pulled out a couple of parts that I think are possible prospects for doing this. Um, but what I've chosen is this piece of metal here that I'm actually going to file this part of the shaft down and then screw this on here. And you can gauge how you want to mount this just by kind of holding the motor up to the shaft and spinning the gear. I had everything put together and I estimated the position I think I want to screw the motor mount to the shaft and I marked this with a permanent marker. Now what I'm doing is I'm holding the motor mount up with everything disassembled and I'm marking drill holes on the actual motor mount that I'm going to drill now. I've drilled the holes in my motor mount and now I've made marks on my shaft so that I can drill holes through that as well. And we're going to do this so that we can easily screw the motor mount onto the shaft and also remove it. So that way if we need to make adjustments later on, it won't be any big deal. Also something I want you to see is I had to make several drill holes in this, the motor mount because it was kind of hard to get it lined up correctly and I also had to bend it a lot. So just got to stick with it and be prepared to use a lot of trial and error. Next thing you need to do is make sure that your gears will always be meshing when the fan is spinning. So what I did is I lined up my gears so that they're lined up perfectly and I put two marks on the top of the shaft. And what you're going to do is drill holes here and insert two screws before and behind this main gear in order to make sure it stays in place as it's spinning. 
So I'm still having some problems with the meshing of my gears here. I've got them pretty accurate, but the gear that will be on the fan is still flopping around a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, teeth from the other playhead gear and actually glue them onto the back of this to in effect double the amount of area that we have on the main gear that attaches to the fan. We're finally starting to see the end of the tunnel here. I've got everything all hooked up. I've got the two screws up in here and I can just spin this guy as hard as I want. It'll still light this up. We've got a nice mesh going on in the gears. Next thing we're going to do is put the fan on and then put the LED on these little wires here. Make sure to get it hot enough to melt the solder, but not too hot to damage the LED. I hope you now have a fully functional and working LED pinwheel. And I also hope you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have. You can always head on over to my website, technogumbo.net, to see what I'm working on.